See now, tough losses at the beginning of the season, but still, you stayed focused. How, how did you get this team back to championship caliber pedigree? I must say, me and my coaching staff, we did a tremendous job after we lost that heartbreak against Bishop Gorman, and we got be bad up the road against um, St. John Bosco. But once we came back to South Florida, we knew we had to play our ball because we was playing our rivalry, Booker T. Washington. Then we got back on the track then, and then once we got on track, you know, we, we got going, you know. So we played a hell of a schedule this year, you know, prepared us for this moment. You know, hats off to Hurley Brown and their squad. They did, had a tremendous season, but we was not going to be denied. You had a season that was, you know, indignant of the, uh, of the, the indicative of the, the national caliber that you guys have had. Yes. You're not afraid to play those very tough opponents early on. How, how, how do you sit down and, and put that together about, you know, getting here to the ultimate goal? You always say, who stay, our state. How do you put that together in the offseason? Well, by playing big games like that, you know, because, um, you know, when you come back to South Florida, when you play those national games, it prepare you for the Northwest. It prepare you for the um, American Heritage. It prepare you for the Miami Killian. That's why we was able to make this run the way we did, because we had the hardest road to go. We was wondering why we were the third seed, but like I told the guys, don't worry about that. We just only control what we control, and when, whoever we had to play, we just had to beat the team one game at a week, one, right, one team at a time. You, now that you won, can you smile a little bit, show a little bit of enthusiasm? Six rings now for you right here at Miami Central. There goes the smile. That's what I want to see. How good does it feel? I feel real good. I feel real good to win a state championship. I'm happy for the kids, the community, administration people, coaches, everybody, man. You know, um, you know I'm a humble guy, you know, but at the end of the day, it's about this kids and the community. So I appreciate everything that, you know, my kids and my coaching staff have done throughout the season. Coach, when you were at Northwestern, Central was not anything. Now it's a national power, eight championships. What does it mean to the community of Liberty City? It means a great deal, you know, because um, I already knew what staff can do, no matter where we was at, you know. Even before I got there, Coach Lockett was the head coach, and he, he saw call me. There, and then when the job and um, home, Coach Central, and that's what we, we kept doing, the things that we were doing at Northwestern. And it's not going to stop, you know, because that's what we do. Congratulations, Coach.